So guys, welcome to the third game, and we're finally at home. It's no the East Point Arena, that's for sure. It's Ibrox Stadium, but with a bit of a change in look. But we'll just go away, right? Ibrox Stadium, lovely, lovely stadium. And this game is going to be at home against Hamilton, so hopefully a game we can get loads and loads of goals against. But they've came to Ibrox, they're not going to come here for a win. They're going to come here to sit back and maybe take a chance if they can. The manager seems to be standing behind the chairs. Maybe has a couple of problems with human contact and all that, but there we go. Rangers were in the glorious, glorious blue kits. And the team is an unusual team, as you can see. Dons is back on the pitch. A Halloran standing right beside him. The team of the day, due to fitness reasons, is a, a big change. So I thought, first game at home, we're playing against Hamilton. They're going to go to come push us, so we can play our back upside and give them a try. So... Fods in goal, Tarney right back, Martin Bates in the centre, John left back, Candace O'Halloran on the wings, Holt and Jack taking control in the middle, Dorns is the main playmaker, Windass is getting his wee break, and Morelos up top. Let's see how we do against Hamilton. Game week three, well actually these are all getting played within the one week, but game day three, and hopefully we can start the season with nine out of nine, and make that very, very strong push for 55. Looking forward to a couple of players here. Halloran for his pace. He was always a pain to play against. He played against St Johnston. So hopefully that can be really usable. Dorns hopefully will be in there pinging that about. Although as I say that, the first thing he does gives it away. And then we hope is going to be hunting around there like a wee, wee bulldog. Lovely wee ball. Morelos is going to take place up top. But Cummins will be coming on about half time to save both their fitnesses. Tavernier, what can he do here? Anti Dorns. Oh, and Dorns makes a great run through, but can't quite bit get by. And Reggiano is up top with Martin. Good goal scorer, Reggiano, so hopefully it will cause problems for him. Doesn't seem to be a Bingham on the pitch. Bingham's actually a very quick player, hard to play against, so we're going to just control the space. We've got time, and we'll just slowly break them down because they're going to be playing a lot more defensive. Lovely ball in, and <laughs> Morelos tries a overhead kick. Oh, that was, that was new, but that would have been a beauty. Ryan Jack with a lovely wee chip. Doesn't quite have enough length on it or height. But that didn't stop Morales from trying. Don's going to take a pot for the outside. Uh, we all know he can score a good long shot, so it's worth a shot every now and then. And he's been unlucky there. Hopefully Rangers fans can cheer them on. Can hear a subtle... Subtle songs from the Union Bears over in the room in front. Dorn's got a ball here. Morelos. Ryan Jack. No one to move into, so he's just going to play it back. Dorn's again. Lovely bit of play from Morelos and Dorn's the whole way up the pitch. Ryan Jack gets played through, but he's unlucky with the touch. And they two actually made a really lovely wee partnership there. Right, so here we have Declan John. Who will be a quick one at Morelos. Oh, and he catches it on the volley. Looks like Morelos is going for a wonder goal of the day, that's for sure. Really unlucky there, and a lovely, lovely ball in for John. Opening it right up for him. Crawford in the centre there. Oh, McKinnon. Tavenier should have him. And we get away with it. It was a wee bit of a... Poor time tackle, but McKinnon continued on and Candace snuck it off him basically. So we have the ball. Graham Dons has been brilliant this game, really, really in control. Plays out Candace. Oh, and Dons is so close to getting his foot on the end of that. Candace just didn't have enough curl or backspin to bring it back towards him. Lovely, lovely bit of play for Rangers, but and Dons looks like he's got the battle fever on, that's for sure. Oh, and it's a lovely bit of open play. And unlucky finish there. For JC. Is it Jason Holt? Or was that Ryan Jack? I couldn't quite tell for that one. It's Morelos. Oh, and it's poor. Should have been one there, but... It's the battle in the middle. Bates. Candace. Candace going to open the legs. He's got legs on McKinnon. He's going to 
to try and exploit that as much as you can. Oh, and Morello's trying to create that wee partnership with Dorns again that's been on fire this game. Really, I was hoping something good would come, but I was not actually expecting much because Dorns isn't exactly the quickest and Morello's isn't either, but it looks like their build-up plays brilliant together. Ball gets played through to Holt. Holt's going to have another pop. And it gets a block. Looks like Hamilton will probably catch this before it goes out, so Morelos going to try and hunt him. Oh, and Morelos is unlucky. Tries a big intercept and slide. Doesn't quite make it, but we all know we Holt. He's going to chase that down all day. Same with Candace. Loads of runners. Denton John against Janice Scondras. And <laughs> John swipes it away, making Scondras swipe it clean air and get nothing. Oh, and Graeme Dorn's unlucky there. Gets that through there, and it's a lovely, lovely, what is probably assist, because Morelos would be expected to score that one. Morelos out to John. Oh, and John tries to play a quick one forward to O'Halloran. O'Halloran out left has kind of been known in the game so far, but it's not terrible. He's done well, and Jason Holt hunts it down again. Insane work rate for the boy. Dorn's going to switch it out to Tavernier. Tavernier's going to cut inside and lay out to Candace. Opens up a lot more space. Candace cuts in brilliantly. Oh, what a touch from Morelos. And he was unlucky there not to get through. What can O'Halloran do here? Lovely ball back in. Dorn's. And Dorn misses a sitter. Does brilliantly to take it down after a lovely wee dink pass. Finds him perfectly. Chest. Bang. Should be top corner. Or even can side foot in if he really wants. Unlucky there. Good, good start for Angels, and hopefully we can burst through. 36 minutes in, and we will, with the amount of pressure, we should burst through. Hamilton have not registered a shot yet, so it shows you how solid Rangers have been. Ball gets played over the top. O'Hallan plays it back post, and it's a lovely, lovely clearance for the Hamilton left back. He does enough. So you have ball front post, it's opened up. But no one really takes it. James Tavernier, unlucky, doesn't quite win it. And here we have a brown step in for Martin. Stopping the counter attack, but they managed to win it back from the tackle. And here's Scott running through now against Bates, and he's got the legs on Bates. Bates shows some great determination to put him under pressure. Doesn't do enough, but Fodrum is a reliable goalkeeper and does brilliantly. Back post here. That's not what you're hoping for with a clearance, you're hoping that would be further, but we managed to work it and get it out, so it matters. Tavernier. Out Candace. Candace sees uh, Dorns running through, but can't quite reach it. Dorns, as I said, battle fever. Snoops, sniffs that one out. And Morelos. And he misses a sitter. I'm surprised he didn't take that with a finesse shot on his right foot. But it looks like he tried to hit it quicker rather than open it up. And he's been unlucky there, right? Half time. That was Morelos' last contribution. He could have had himself a second goal in two games. But sadly not. So Jason Cummins is going to come on. Herrera will very rarely be getting played, that's for sure. Same way Alves. And O'Halloran can keep what he's doing. He's done okay. No been in the game a lot. But we'll see. We're doing enough here to run the game. And we're doing enough to expect three points for this game. We just need to find that goal. You can tell how far back Hamilton are sitting, as I said. It's four banks, uh, two banks of four sitting right outside the box. That's why we've got it's actually okay to have a lot more passing players on because we don't actually have to break through anyone. And talking about it, Jason Cummins gets his first goal for Rangers and he's running to the Brimlin front to the Union Bears to celebrate. Lovely, lovely goal. We had to break through and he managed it. Gets really lucky. Hits it off the Hamilton boy, drops straight back to his foot, and he's not going to miss that one. 1-0 one Rangers at Ibrox. Come dog with the first goal. Let's push on for more. I was actually expecting maybe a 3-4-0 with this one, but a win's a win, and that's all that matters. Could still finish 3-4-0, because Hamilton now can no longer sit back unless they're happy to lose the game. 
this changes it and opens it up a hell of a lot more. Talking about that, what a ball over at McCann. But Candias is in behind, covering Tavernier for stepping out of place. Tavernier's position has been quite poor the last two games. And I was talking about how it's going to change the game. Could have changed it straight back to 1 1 with a lovely bit of play there. Hamilton, though, luckily missed the chance, and Rangers can move on. Here we have the ball out with a Halloran. He's going to cut back and whip it. Plays it back post, but might actually be able to get something for it. And he's unlucky. Tavenier's got it now. Tavenier plays it into Jack. Jack's going to roll it onto Holt. Holt's going to try and open up some space for a shot, but he runs out. He's going to cut back, play it back to Jack. Jack's got a bit of space for a shot and doesn't quite get a good enough connection. Poor foot. But still 1 0 up. All that matters. Let's keep it going, the boys in blue. Bates. <laughs> Big Batesy smashing, man. And Cummins opens up an amazing bit of space for himself. Can he place this into the back? Oh, and Cummins. It's Ibrox. Ibrox is just making the man play. It's the fans. The fans chanting his name and cheering them. My God. There they are. What a support. What a support. And he opens up so much space by turning outside. Hamilton Boy doesn't read where he's going. And he has so much time. He finds where he wants to put it and puts it in the back of the net. Cummins with two goals for the season so far. And hoping we can move on and get more. Tavenier again. Here we go, Declan John. Oh, that's poor for John. Holtz tries to get in there and sweep it, but is unlucky. Martin hunting down. Unlucky. Lion, or Leon, I'm not sure. But Candace pushes them over, pretty much. Not cynical in any way, just okay. And they're telling me to take off Bates and put on Alves. Bates is the ginger Alves. Bates is a machine. Oh, and it's a lovely, lovely catch. Almost an absolute astounding goal from the Hamilton boy. So Hamilton have actually gave us a couple of close scales so far. They've not had a lot of chances, but the ones they have have been good. So we actually want to just keep getting more and more goals and separate ourselves. 2-0 solid. We should be able to defend it. Declan John gets the ball here. O'Halloran. And it comes. Comes back to Dorns. And Dorns gets taken down, but looks like he's taking the ball and Dorns has fallen over after it, so... Nothing's going to be given. Ryan Jack into Dorns. Dorns back to Ryan Jack, but he's unlucky. The ball gets sweeped up. What can we do here? Oh. Bates tries to intercept, but they do well. Ball gets played forward. And Dorns unlucky to take it on his stride. Can't quite turn around and catch it while it's running through. Big Batesy missed times a slide tackle. And Hamilton are pushing through. And the ball gets played wide. Scondrass with a poor finish. 71 minutes. Let's get some changes in. So Murphy's going to be coming on. And we've got McCrory. But we're going to give him a wee break. Anik Doherty. We want to keep growing Doherty so we want to play him. So that's what, exactly what we're going to do. Jack's going to take a break. Greg Dockett's going to come in. And we'll see how Greg Dockett kind of grows for here. Rajano is taking a break. That's good. He was He's a good wee player, him. And it's a terrible, terrible tackle in the middle of the park. Who's that? It's a yellow card for number 14, Charlie Scott. Well, he had a good burst against Bates at one point. Could we... Good me momentum. Took the ball really well in his stride. Candace. He scored from out here before. And he was unlucky. Martin wins the ball in the middle. Unlucky. Leon or Lyon again. McKinnon. And what can he do here? Unlucky. 
Oh, and should be off. Yep, he's offside. Good wee line there for Rangers. Martin's got the ball. Looks like Rangers going to get a nice, solid 2-0 win. Unless they score more, because I don't see Hamilton getting a goal in this game. And it's another amazing start for the Rangers side. And Dorns with a poor shot. Fell away a bit since the start, but he had a good start and he's making a case to make a wee shot in the main team. Centre-back Xavier Thomas has come off and Emery's came on, so they're definitely going a bit attacking, so maybe they will go for this, which means there's definitely a chance for more goals for Rangers here. Especially on the breaks, we've brought in a lot of quick players. A lot of quick players that can hopefully burst away. Oh, and can do some lucky. Oh, we get away with it. Actually, it looks like they've kicked it out instead. Oh, and oh, a lovely tackle there for Holt. He's unlucky that it didn't bounce to Cummins. The game now, right? Plays it up to Ogbo, maybe. John's trying to chase him, but he's tired. And. Bit of miscommunication there for Martin and Fodrum, and then Bates makes it a really, really scary pass there by leaving it to the last minute, but he manages to get away clean and creates a good counter attack. And Tavenier, can you get this? And it looks like Tavenier's legs are going too, so fullbacks might actually need a break, so we'll need to think about right back and who we want to play there. We've seen Ryan Jack play there for Scotland, he was solid, he used to play there for Aberdeen, so he might slip in, or. We should have Andy Halliday, I'm sure. I've not actually checked. Didn't even cross my mind, Andy Halliday, to be honest. Could maybe play him left back. Oh, and unlucky there. Or we could maybe go to a three at the back formation because we've got Bates, McCrory and Martin. Martin could be the experience in the middle of the two youngsters. That could work too. We might look into that. Murphy. And it's a lovely wee pass right into the bottom corner. 3 0 to Rangers, and Murphy gets his first Rangers goal. Everyone knows about his signed shirt to his dad. Dreams do come true. I wonder how his first goal for Rangers feels. Lovely, lovely goal. And game week three has been brilliant. Game week three, three goals, two for Cummins, one for Murphy. Rangers are looking like 55 could be possible because they're an unstoppable force right now. So there we go guys, hopefully you enjoyed that game, leave a like and subscribe if you did, and you know there's a long journey still to go, so let's get right into it, I'll see you in the next one, possession 55, title we're going for 55, it's a sign, see you in the next game day.